coming up to the end of the semester. Points are due November 30th. We'll have a slide in here about that. But let's get started. Um, we have two more meetings left after today. Um, November 20th, 21st, and December 4th and 5th. Um, the last meeting got canceled um, because it's due after the points are due. I mean, sorry, the meeting is after the points are due and it's finals week. So we thought not many people would show up and based on previous semesters, that's what usually happens. Um, if you guys have trouble getting AGS service final points in, uh, as you usually attend these for AGS service, there are other ways to get that. There's a food drive coming up and if you donate cans or whatever it might be, uh, three items will be equivalent to one point in AGS service. So that will be very helpful. And there are also some other things as well. Um, here it is, the food drive. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, November 19th and 20th, both days from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is in conjunction with ASCOM. Um, we want this to be as big as possible. Like I said, three items are one point in AGS service. And you can also get AGS service for helping at the table, two points per hour as usual. Um, so this is a big event to get your AGS service points out of the way or help you out with that. Any questions? Uh, there's a college and cultural event coming. Giuseppe Deza is going to be here. Um, so it's going to happen October 16th, Friday, December 21st. And for attending, you're going to get two points in college and cultural. And I think it's going to stay for a while, right? Until yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's happening. It's been happening. Uh, it's going to happen until December 21st. <laughs> um, this is in the College Room Library. Um, some of us already went. There was a sign-in sheet uh, during the reception, so that happened. But you can continue to go to this and receive points. Um, only You can only receive two points for going once. You can go as many every time as you want, but um, you'll get two points for taking a selfie in there or providing evidence that you went to that. Um, Javier this is last name, Zamora, Poetry as Resistance, is tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. in Fusselman Hall, uh, room 120. It is the big one. As soon as you walk into the main doors, you look to the right. Um, that is that room. Um, he is um, very prestigious. I think he currently goes to Stanford. He's planning on going to Harvard, graduated UC Berkeley, and so did his dad. Uh, he walked 4,000 miles. Uh, across several countries to the United States from El Salvador, I believe. Um, he's going to be talking about his story and um, reading some of his poetry. Um, that'll be two points in college and cultural for attending. And there'll be a free lunch. Yeah, free lunch. Uh, the bake sale is coming also tomorrow from 9 to 2 at the Learning Squad Center. So you'll get two points if you bring anything, dozen of you need your service. You can only get six points maximum, so if you did that already, you cannot do it anymore. And you get two points per hour in AGS service if you help with the tables. Okay. That's it. So this bake sale that we're doing this time, our third one, every semester we usually do one where we take the proceeds from it and donate it to a charity. Um, this charity, this time we're doing it for uh, NAMI. Um, this is the, the National Organization of Mental Illness. Um, and it's, we're gonna doing it for the, um, they have a, a sub-organization within that for uh, students uh, for mental health. And we're doing it for the NAMI local organization. So anything that we raise during this time period for this, this bake sale number three will go towards the area, area NAMI for student health. And also I would add on like, um, from general members, if you like know of a particular organization that you think you know, are doing great job or work for the community that you think um, s such funds can be donated to, bring up your ideas and then we can discuss it at, at board level. Yeah, yeah we've That'd done some awesome. in the past for guide, do guide Dogs for the Blind, we've done others for uh, American Red Cross locally as well as the relief effort for the uh, people that were affected by the wildfires up in Santa Rosa last, last mm -hmm. year. Again, like Kunta says, if you have ideas, please let us know. Um, Trash Talk, this is an event that the Environmental Action Club is holding. 
Um, they want to make this as big as possible. They've been working on this for a very long time, I know. Um, it's the SMN Recycling Pilot Program launch event. So they're, li they're launching pilot program in the Science Math Nursing Building. Um, basically um, putting new bins in there that are actually for recycling. Because if you um, check out, there's been recycling bins all over the campus. Those haven't really been getting recycled, which is pretty sad. So they've been talking to knowledgeable people in the community, um, experts, etc., and working on this for a very long time. So we are offering points for those who attend and those who help. Who help two points in community service per hour if you go to help, and two points in college and cultural for attending. Um, it will be from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the academic center quad area. Um, I think there might be lunch as well. Yeah, free food, um, raffles, that is the poster that you should be seeing around campus. Um, this is supposed to be a pretty big event, so go out there, support. Um, social events, karaoke night is coming Thursday, November 15th from 6 to 8.30 at the cafeteria. And um, so we will get two points in college and cultural for attending. And also, because we're gonna do some kind of mal um, a potluck. Uh, if you bring any food, you're gonna get AGS points as well. So bring food and and yeah, be ready to sing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So once again, this is another event that uh, we're offering some AGS service points for, as that's usually what's um, needed at the end of the semester by the general members. So there are several different ways to get your AGS service points other than attending the meetings or you know bake sales. So I will be singing that. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Don't be shy. Today, November 6th, big day, as you guys all know, uh, midterm elections. Get out there and vote uh, if you haven't already done so. Um, to show evidence, please take a picture of the stub that says, I voted. Um, don't take a selfie in there. That's a federal offense in California. Um, I'll be six months in community involvement. That wipes out your category. Um, so you're registered to vote, if you can vote, go out there and vote. Um, great way to wipe out your category, and a great way to um, express what you want if you make change. Um, AGS got a uh, design pillow? AGS, what is it? Sweatshirt? Mm -hmm. Sorry, call this? Okay. <laughs> so we're going to um, order a new shirt, new sweatshirt, and if you guys are uh, feeling inspired to design anything for us, that will be cool. And you can get points for that. So two points in AGS service for submitting a design and six points to the winner. So what what are the different EPS, EPS or AI form? Anything that's vector based. And if you're having if you really want to do this and you're having you know trouble designing it or coming up with something, just talk to me. We can work something out if you want to submit something. And you don't know what EPS or AI are, so let me know. And the deadline is um, Friday, November sixteenth. Any questions? It's gonna be on a sweatshirt this time because we already have a bunch of t-shirts. We've actually had some um, interest in sweatshirts. Yeah. Um, like I said, uh, point sheet, uh, um, point sheet, sorry, this is for application. Uh, lifetime membership application, that's due November 14th. Um, this is what the application itself looks like. Um, lifetime memberships, there are a few uh, requirements that you have to fulfill or qualifications to be a lifetime member. You have to have completed 60 um, credits or more, have above a 3.5 GPA, and been in AGS in that prior semester. Um, if you are a lifetime member for future semesters that you're in AGS, you pay a $10 fee instead of a $27 fee. Um, this is also looks good um, on you know, college resumes, any resume, work resumes, etc. Um, you're considered a lifetime member, and um, yeah, that's basically it. You have to get this signed by all your professors with an estimated grade from them and their signature. Um, good way to kind of know what you'll have in the class. Um, and then you have to attach your transcripts as well. And, and the good thing about 
that it's like you kind of like get distinguished you know if you happen to go to the graduation you know it, yeah it, you're it, at dinner you get um, yeah you know like Kunta said you get um honored you get represented yeah and also at the at the at the graduation, the graduation you also get the cords the pen and everything that goes along with that if you ever wonder what those are for the going sheet deadline is coming too it's going to be Friday November 30th p.m. sharp, so don't come after that. You can either come to the office um, in AGS or give it to Dave, right? In the library? Yeah, you can give it to Dave. Yes, too. okay. That's fine. So, do you, have, do you guys have any questions about that? Do you have Touch. any problem with any of the category to fulfill or not? Now's a good time to ask about the questions, guys. Yes. Make sure you attach all your volunteer contracts, uh, tutoring contracts, um, pictures, uh, ticket stubs, etc. Um, providing evidence. You can also send me that email. Yeah, you Physical can, copies would be easiest, even if it's black and white, like a software yeah. or something. Um, I just make copies of everything and just put the photocopies with it. For things that you like signed in for, like events like this, you just mark down, you know, general meeting number one, one point. Yeah, you that's why we have to sign because we have a copy of that you were attending. So, yes, exactly. And then one more thing before we end the meeting. Um, the Is Week International Student um, Conference um, Convention uh, the deadline for that, uh, which is located in Germany, is Sunday, correct? Okay. Um, that happens yearly. There are several no, different... Every two years. Sorry, every two years? Yeah. Cool. Every two years, um, there's an international student conference. Um, this one's going to be held in Germany. Um, you know, might as well apply. You have nothing to lose. Um, and Marky has a lot of information regarding this stuff. So, do you want to say a couple words or do you want to open for questions? Uh, they could just message me through the um, okay. through campus or um, we. I have the link on the HS um, Facebook page as well. Yeah. So they could just look through the link and then uh, follow the prompts for the application. And yeah, so applications are up until Sunday, so take advantage of it. Daniel applied to the one in Germany. I mean, not Germany, but the one in Norway, and I heard he got in. So, yeah, congratulations. Thanks, sir. Also, guys, there is a, currently happening a Q&A for UC Berkeley, if you're interested, mm -hmm. until 3. It's like the room right there, so if you guys want to go, you all have to go now, so if you just let us know. There's also several spots left on the UC Berkeley um, tour, which is this Friday. Um, they have about 20 spots left. It's free, free lunch as well. I believe it's like from 9 to 4 p.m. There's a $10 deposit, but they'll give it back to you. Mm -hmm. If you want to sign up for that, that'll be in the counseling center. Mm -hmm.